Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine function or not a function given a mapping diagram, given an ordered pairs, and given a table. So let's jump into the definition of a function first. So function is a relationship between inputs and outputs where there is only one output y for every input x. That means for every x value there's always that one unique output which is y. To better understand this, I have here a function machine. So in this setup that we have here, this machine is called a function if and only if I put in a value which we call as input. I drop in one input there and if this machine will process it and it will produce only one output, then this machine is a function. Now, if in any case, I drop in one input and then this machine is gonna process it and it's going to produce two outputs, this is not a function because a function will only give or will only should only produce one output. So each input should produce only one unique output. Now, if it's producing two outputs, it is not a function. Okay, to better understand this, let's have some examples here. Let's start with the mapping diagram first. So we have here the input side and the output side. This first problem that we have here is not a function. So this is not a function. The reason for this is we have the W. So if we look at each of these, the W has two outputs. That means it has it it produces seven and two. So for example, in the function machine, if I drop W into the machine, the machine is gonna process it and then it will produce seven and two as the output. So that means it is not a function because it's giving out or if it's producing two outputs. In order for it to be a uh, function, it has to produce only one unique output. Now try this one out on your own. Okay, so the second problem right here is a function because each of the input has one unique output. So the four has a unique output of zero, the five, negative five has a negative six, seven has a three, and then one has a negative six. So each of these inputs, they are producing one unique output. So it is a function. Now this time around, let's have an ordered pair. So I'll take the first one as an example. And so we go over this. So here, this first uh, problem that we have, in order that we can um, determine if this is a function or not, we look at the uh, x value. Remember, for every x, there should only be one unique y value one single unique y value. So let's look at the uh, x. So let's see if x is repeated and parted up differently. So x is not repeated. So x is not repeated here. So that means x does not have a two, uh, it, it's not paired up with two values of y. So that means this is a function. Now let's look at the second one right here. Try this one out. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So this, if we look at this one here, this negative one, there's two negative one right here. Meaning if we have the mapping diagram here, so if I have the input and the output here, so this is the output and that's the input. So if I have negative one here, the negative one will produce two outputs. That would be four and nine, so I can map it out like this. So that means um, the input is not producing a single unique output. So that means this is not a function. So this is not a function. And then aside from the negative one, we also have zero. So the zero also, so if we map it out, so that's uh, this is the input and this is the output, zero will have two outputs. That would be five and negative seven. So this two makes it not a function. Let's take the th uh, third one right here. So we have tables. So let's take the first one. So in this problem right here, so let's look at the X or the input and see are they having multiple outputs or just one single unique output? So let's start with this one right here. So is X repeated in, in each of these um, 
um, values here, so it's not repeated. So that means this is a function. Okay, what about the second one right here? Try this one out. Okay, so if we look at this one right here, the three messed it up. So that means there are two outputs for three. So if we were to map this, so that means um, three will have a, an output of two. So this is the input, this is the output, and a seven. So that means this is not a function. So I'm gonna write this is not a function. Or we can also compare this to a function machine. So if, if we were to uh, look at the function machine for this, so if this is, uh, this is the machine right here, so this is the input that we put in. So I drop three into the machine. And then after that, it's gonna give, or it's gonna produce um, two and seven. And so that means this is not a function because the input is not producing a single unique output. So the three does not produce one unique output, but it's producing two unique outputs. So that makes it not a function. Because again, in order, in, in order for it to be a function, there should only be one unique single output for every input. That's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!